Hey viewers, welcome back to Andy's Garage. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, today I got a little something different in the garage today. Uh, we just recently sold our uh, Bayliner Capri boat. And we decided to buy something else with the money. As you can see here, we went ahead and bought a uh, John Deere Gator. Uh, this is something we are going to be using out there at the sportsman's club out where we have our camper for riding the trails and hauling water and things of that nature so what i'm going to do today is is i'm going to uh install some lighting out here uh i'm going to be installing some rear tail lights turn signal and brake lights also on the front i've got some amber ones for the front for uh turn signals on the front i'm going to go ahead and place the turns the front turn signal somewhere right in about this range on each side and then the brake and tail lamps are going to be probably up right up and about right here and then the uh, uh turn signals are going to go here because it's going to be a i've got led lights and they're a ground three quarter inch lights and they are a uh, tail light and a uh, brake light assembly and then the ones on the, that I'm gonna put on the bottom here for the turn signals are just uh, single light uh, amber lights so same thing on this side you know brake lights you know brake and tail lights here and then the turn signals are gonna go here and my Amazon order came in this morning all right so these are obviously the amber ones here are going to be for the turn signals and then these are the uh, uh, tail lamp and uh, stop light and I ordered a kit because I needed some switches you know for the uh, turn signals and I need a switch for the uh, oop, I need a switch for the horn well this all right here came in a kit for like 20 bucks on Amazon and it was cheaper doing that route versus trying to buy just these switches because that's what it would have cost me for just the switches and then you know I needed the horn so it came with the horn so I just got everything that way anyway well it came with these uh, two separate sets of clear LEDs so just to see which one was brighter than the other these here are brighter than what these are so i'm going to use these as a backup lamp a bul because this one the switch here with the horn has a reverse switch on it <clears throat> so then these two led lights here that aren't as bright i'm actually going to use these as interior lights um, i ordered a switch and problem is, is it's not going to be here till I think Saturday today's Thursday so I'm gonna go ahead and get these wired in anyway and I'll just just gonna have to wait on the switch uh, oh and one more thing that I bought I, I've seen them used several times I didn't know how well they really work so I was went ahead and bought one anyway and that's one of these uh, little heaters they're for uh, you can use it for all, for all sorts of stuff like removing stickers and things like that or uh, but mainly for uh, what I'm going to use it for is a uh, heat shrink tube. Just a little mini heat gun. I've seen these used by many, many people in the past. And I thought, man, maybe I need one of these. Because typically for my heat shrink, I just use a lighter. And uh, so I thought, well, I think I'm going to buy me one of these. And I think it was only like, I don't know, 15 bucks, something like that on the old amazonian rainforest website uh so and as you can tell it's a tack life so that's an amazon thing but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get started on this uh i think for starters i need to do a layout on the uh rear of the gator so i know exactly where i need to drill my holes for the lighting and on these uh lights here on all of them they are a three quarter inch and just get a three quarter inch drill bit, uh, drill hole, pop that grommet in, and then you pop the light in. 
then you do all your wiring. Anyway, let's get started on this. Hey viewers, all right. Uh, I'm gonna update you on what I've done so far here. I made a little template here that I had taped onto the back end of the gator here. <clears throat> I say that's just what it, I mean, it's kind of cockeyed now, obviously, because I had to pull this out, but that's how it's going to work. These are going to be the uh, tail lights and brake lights, and then these two down here will be the turn signals. And then I've got this tape here marked, and that's my center drilling hole, and that's where the uh, backup light is going to go. All right, now the guy that had this before I did put these as turn signals. Uh, these are going to come out. Uh, obviously, there's one on each side. And this, the good thing is, is this already has a uh, brake light in it already. So I am just going to uh, trace that wire down this roll bar and see where she goes. And then I'm just going to tap into the, that circuit there for the brake lights back here. Uh, turn signals, going to run a completely brand new uh, circuit for that, obviously, because it's got to come from the dash up there. Same thing with the BUL. Uh, so anyway, uh, just want to update you on what I've done so far. And uh, I'll show you that that looks like in there with those. So anyway, uh, it has these type of... Uh, connectors on them uh, I'm actually going to cut these off because I'm going to go ahead and solder these together inside here and uh, the only place I'm going to really have a connection I can't dump the bed now I got stuff in it but back up underneath the bed here is where I'm going to have a connector so that way if I have to remove the bed to work on the engine I can just easily disconnect the circuit in the back and not worry about anything so anyway, as I said, I'm going to get back to it, and as I progress along here, I'll update you. Hey, viewers, I'm back. Hey, uh, after spending a couple of hours trying to figure out how to run this wire, I think I've got it figured out. All right, the battery is down here underneath the passenger seat. So what I, was, I determined, to, decided to do was run this cable up underneath the battery tray and I pop this loose and you can see that wire loom and that wire loom runs through hey you can see it through the side and what I did was after I ran it through the side it's actually running tucked in back behind this part of the frame here and it runs all the way up Okay, and then it comes out right here. And this hole was already, I, it's pretty janky looking hole, so I don't think that's factory. Anyway, that hole was there, so I decided to run that hole, run it through that hole. Then what I did was I just turned this light on here. Oh, my light died. That's all right. You might be able to see. Yeah. And see, there's already some wire looms underneath here, and I just ran it ac across them and zip tied them to that. So, then as you can see it, this is the other end of it. And on these switches, there it didn't come with a uh, schematic on here, and it's what's written on here is very deceiving. So I had to look online to find a wiring schematic for this one here. So anyway, found it, got it figured out. Uh, middle one is your 12 volt uh, feed coming in. This one up here is your ground. And this is the turn signal switch. So here's what's crazy. This top terminal here corresponds with the right turn signals on the switch but guess what it's for the left just like the bottom one corresponds with the left on the switch but it actually operates the right turn signal anyway so yeah that's that same thing with the horn in reverse switch horn 
button may actually be at the top, but the terminal for it is at the bottom. Just like the reverse light is at the bottom, the terminal on the switch is at the top. And again, your middle one is your 12 volt positive, and then your top one is your ground. So anyway, I'm getting ready to eat dinner here in a few minutes. Uh, so I'm going to tinker around with this just a few more minutes before I eat dinner, and then uh, I'll update you. Hey viewers, it's uh, it's day two on this gator. Uh, man, oh man, I thought it was going to be easier to run wiring in this thing than it has been. I mean, they don't leave you any cavities to run anything in these things. And then when you take out these OEM switches, no slack and wiring, nothing. Yeah, this is technician unfriendly. Anyway, uh, I got everything wired up on the inside here. This is the horn in reverse. These wires here are for the interior lights. I put one there and one over there. Then I got the turn signal switch in. Relay and everything is underneath the dash. All right, this is one of the turn signals there and the one there. And what I did was, as you can see, I ran the, you can see it there, back up, there you go. Ran the wire loom across the frame and down through there, all the way to the other side here. And as you can see, it comes out here and that goes to the other side. These are wire looms that I added in here. Got multiple coming in because you got one for the horn and then you got them for the uh, turn signals and the ground wire. Because I just grounded it out through the horn, through the frame. And then the turn signal and the uh, horn wires go through. I have them through their own little wire looms here right for the horn and this is the turn signal when it comes over here on this side here so <clears throat> I mentioned earlier in the video this is the wiring coming from the uh, battery that goes underneath everything here and it comes out right here I've got the wire loom split here uh, that's because I gotta make a couple connections here but anyway this is the wire loom coming through there through there it goes through that channel from that channel <clears throat> comes out right back there and then I've got it looped through and under to come out right here and I just started putting these uh, terminals on here for these uh, connectors here so I'm going to make a real quick video. I'm just going to do one terminal. I'm not going to do a whole lot of them. No need to waste time. One, do one. They're all the same. So anyway, I'm going to do that now. Hey, viewers. All right, these are pretty simple. You got your little pin connector here. And your little grommet. Once you strip your wiring back, all you've got to do is take your grommet. put it on like that with the three ribs towards the back because that middle ring is where you crimp this around you just stick that on there like so line up that grommet then this first set of tabs crimp them down on the wire like so <clears throat> and then you just take these tabs towards the back and you just crimp them over that grommet just like that 
All right, and when I finish the rest of these, I'll uh, come back because there's a clip you gotta put in them. So stay tuned. viewers all right uh it's the next day i got her uh finished yesterday afternoon lights all working took her for a drive went to go eat lunch drove it everything everything looks great uh and i wasn't quite done yesterday because i had a uh another switch come in that i ordered uh it's for the led light bar in the front of it i was just gonna buy an led light bar rocker switch but i saw the Sam Squanch. Yeah, I saw a Sam Squanch switch. I'm not a believer in a Sam Squanch, but hey, you know, hey, that was kind of a cool looking switch. But anyway, uh, that came in today. I just slapped her in there. I had the wiring ran and everything for it. I just needed to plug in that switch. And I'll take you inside and I'll show you. Hey, viewers. All right, this is what I, these are the switches I ended up putting in. Did these for a switch here for an interior light. As you can see those lights down there. Also for the the turn signal, did horn and reverse lights, and then of course, like I said, the Sam Squinch switch. See right there. See you turn that on, you spot the Sam Squinch. Anyway, yeah. So anyway, that's what I got going on, and uh, uh, yeah, I'm happy with the way it turned out. Uh, oh man, my plug got knocked out. Yeah, the person hit it before me. They put the switch for that LED light bar there. And I uh, put a plug in there. And apparently it just probably popped in when I popped that panel in. Anyway, uh, yeah, you want to make things a lot easier. And you want to run into wire on these things. Pop the center part of the dash. I mean, it opens. It's perfect because it's right in the middle. So it opens up everything you need to get your hands in there to run all this wiring around and stuff. So, but yeah, like I said, you know, I just... Ran underneath the dash and then underneath the floor because the battery is underneath the uh, passenger seat there. So yeah, that uh, about wraps it up. Uh, of course, you know I had to put my SMV sign on here. Oh, I'm not sure why I gotta have it. This thing goes 60 mile an hour. Yesterday, the fastest I had it yesterday was 50. So she scoots along fairly well, but uh. So yeah, so like I said, I've got the tail and stop, turn, the BUL. And I said I've got those two in the bottom that are interior lights. And of course I got the turn signals there. And then this was the light bar that was already on there. And I just hooked it up to a different switch. And uh, I think the Sam Squeen switch is kind of a pretty cool little thing. Anyway, that's it for this one. Uh, I'm not going to lie. This thing kind of kicked my butt. Uh, it is very hard to find a place to run the wire from the battery to under the dash. Uh, because all you've got is the frame and then the plastic skid plate underneath all this here. And then a dash, it's just a thin or not the dash, the firewall, just a thin piece of plastic. There's no, there, there's really no place to run it. You can't run it underneath the, well, you can, but I didn't want to. You can run it underneath the uh, drive shaft tunnel, but there's coolant lines and then of course the drive shaft underneath there. And there's already a big wire loom that runs underneath there. And that took up quite a bit of space. And I wasn't gonna risk my wire loom uh getting nicked or caught up in that drive shaft or even hitting the cooling lines on this thing so but anyway so that's how i ran her and she's done and then like i said for this tilt bed i said i put my connectors here ground connectors a single one here and then this runs all the lights so that way uh when i have to remove the bed to 
service the engine i just got to disconnect these wire harnesses and it's not a hard wire thing so and i also wrapped up this wire loom in uh, uh fabric tape uh not only to make sure it's a little more rigid and i don't have to worry about all those wires falling out but it's just a little peace of mind for rubbish and stuff underneath here hey viewers all right this is gonna end this video uh do want to mention something on these lights though uh like i said i just got these off the uh, old amazonian rainforest website uh this kit came with i think like 10 of each of these uh then it came with four uh clear bulbs uh there was a set of two uh and each of the clear ones were a little different. One, uh, one set was brighter than the other. And then the brighter set I used for the BUL. And the uh, other set that was a little bit dimmer. I used that for the interior lights. Anyway, uh, the ones for the BUL. Ones for uh, the tail light, brake light. And the ones for the turn signal. Okay. I said all the wiring is different compared to the ones that i put on the uh, interior okay now on these like this amber the white is the ground and the black is the uh, 12 volts same thing on this red and black serve as your 12 volt functions and your white is your ground clear lights for the bul black is a 12 volt white is the ground so i know i tested all the lights before i uh installed them all uh when i first got them just to make sure everything i was going to put in worked and then i wanted to also test out which of these clear lights were brighter because i had a feeling one set was probably going to be brighter and it was a huge difference these ones are used for the bul Versus the ones that I put in the interior are probably twice as bright. Anyway, uh, so wired up all these exterior lightings and uh, go to do the interior lights. Didn't work. They wouldn't turn on. Checked my switch. Checked, you know, checked for uh, battery. Checked for ground. Had everything there at the switch. Could not figure it out. Took all the wiring that I put in there for... The interior lights checked all that had powers and ground couldn't figure it out took the lights out took the lights completely out and took them over to the bench to my uh, power supply well hooked them up you know uh, the white for ground black for battery it didn't work I'm like what in the world so for whatever reason, I decided to switch the wires. What do you know? They light up. So these two that were going in the interior, uh, yeah, it's the way it's supposed to be. You know, the industry standard, you know, on 12 volt systems, you know, make your black wires the ground wires. Uh, <clears throat> now the clear lamps didn't come with uh, any uh, wiring diagrams or anything, but these came with and it showed you what the you know wire functions were uh so that's the only way i even knew that the black was actually you know a battery you know uh, uh an actually 12 volt function had i not known that i would have just assumed the white and the red were and then i'd have been hooking up the ground wired the black wire to ground and then i would have stuck these two to a 12 volt positive and just to test to see whatever happened uh but that wasn't the case. At least they had uh, some kind of instructions for those. But anyway, uh, so yeah, just uh, be careful with that when you buy them. Uh, and like I said, if you're going to test them, uh, at least mark one light. So that way you kind of have an idea, which I wish that's what I would have done uh, on these. So that way I wouldn't have gotten confused with that under dash interior lights. Because I spent over an hour, probably an hour and a half or better fooling with that. I wasn't a happy camper. So, but anyway, uh, that's going to end this for this video. Uh, 
you know, it's just, you know, kind of a little fun toy thing. It's nothing uh, too serious. It wasn't in a hurry to get it done. It's not a customer's, obviously it's mine. And so I just took my time at it, you know, I uh, tried to make the wire and look as, you know, good as I possibly could. So but anyway, uh, hope this video was helpful for someone. And if it was, like, subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.